You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, soap opera fans. This is Soap Dirt, and we've got your Days of Our Lives spoilers for next week by date. Every day of the week, we know what's happening, and we've got the latest for you for what's coming March 6th through 10th, 2023 on the NBC slash Peacock soap opera. There's a lot happening. You know, we've got arrests. We've got some people leaving town on Friday. Jack and Jen are going. And there's a lot of movement in several romantic storylines. So there's a lot to unpack for next week. And it looks like a really good set of episodes as we head out of sweeps and into March. They still have things hot and happening over there. On Monday, March 6, 2023, it's season 58, episode 121 of Days of Our Lives, and we're going to see Lee Shen completely unwilling to give up on his marriage to Gabby Hernandez. He has moved them into that tiny apartment with his sister Wendy Shen, who just asked Trip Dalton to move in. Days is so funny with cramming you know, people into tiny spaces because of their set limitations, but this is really interesting. So next week we'll see Lee trying a different approach with Gabby because he's definitely trying to re-spark and lucky for him, you know, Stefan said Chloe's name and that pissed off Gabby. So maybe, maybe he'll make some inroads. We'll see. Also next week, you know, Eric Brady is arrested this week along with his brother for kidnapping Stefan and Eric lying about being the paralegal to get Dr. Rolf to sign the um, the plea deal so that he could um, have him out to try and unbrainwash Stefan again. So Rafe found out all bit about this thanks to Sloan and he goes over and, you know, he busted them this week. That was like Tuesday. So anyway, uh, Eric Brady and Brady Black both need lawyers. Eric Brady has Bell Black that he can turn to, and she generally, you know, will wade into some pretty messy stuff for family. But this time she's like, nah, nah, not having it, no. So she bails as his attorney, and that's a really big problem. Why? Because he has really ticked off his bed buddy, Sloan Peterson. Now they're not friends, and there's no benefits anymore. She goes to D.A. Trask, who we know is a vengeful little woman, and she wants Trask to just unload and throw as many charges as she can at Eric. So that doesn't look good for him, for the former priest, you know. But can you blame Sloan? I mean, she's sketchy, but still, he did her really dirty. Also on Monday, Nicole Walker and E.J. Demera decide to flip things on Stefan and take some payback for him drugging them both. The big question is, are they going to turn around and drug him? Which could be fun, considering he's just off this traumatic ordeal where every small appliance, you know, at the Brady Pub, Brady Pub was uh, cobbled together in some ET-looking mess to try and get Stefan's brain to phone home. So we'll see. If they drug him, it might be real problematic because his brain is scrambled. On Tuesday, March 7th, it's season 58, episode 122 of Days. We saw with Kristen Demera that Rachel Black is definitely her mini-me, and Kristen has effectively brainwashed Rachel against Chloe. And now Chloe's back in town, and of course Brady Black wants to get back with Chloe now that he's gone all out to try and get Stefan to just go back to Gabby and forget about the opera singer. So Brady wants, of course, a passionate reunion with the woman he loves, Chloe. However, Rachel Black is not interested. She does not want Chloe around. And she's a pretty sassy, vocal little tween and is just saying what she has to say. So this is a problem, but it doesn't look like Brady will be dissuaded, which puts him in a tough spot. Also on Tuesday, Sloan makes Eric an offer that surprises him. Of course, he knows she wants his skin nailed to the wall for you know, stealing her documents and going behind her back. But she also really liked Eric as a bed buddy. So, you know, we'll have to see what offer she makes, but maybe she will, you know, try and get Trask to back off if he does whatever she wants. We'll have to see. Also, Stefan gets a close and romantic moment with Gabby Hernandez, but then her husband interrupts them 
And who can blame them? He put the ring back on her finger, and he's got six months more of what he hopes will be marital bliss, and she hopes he'll, you know, fall off a cliff or go to prison. So Lee definitely feels all right with interrupting them. Also on Tuesday, Chanel Dupree hires a new person to work at Sweet Bits Bakery. With Allie Horton gone off to New Zealand after they split, she needs someone to help her make her Sweet Bits. In walks a mysterious newcomer named Talia. Talia is Jada Hunters, the, the new top cop over at the Salem Cop Shop. Talia is her sister. There's some weird background there. Apparently, Talia is a physician of some sort, and then she comes to Salem, and then she's making cookies. So it's not clear if she doesn't want to be a doctor, had a breakdown, maybe she killed somebody, maybe her, who knows. We'll find out more, but we'll meet Talia on Tuesday, and... That's all the action for that day. On Wednesday, March 8th, it's episode 123 of Days of Our Lives, and Sloane gets in Nicole's face, and she's pushing her buttons. And of course, Nicole hates that sketchy Sloane has been making whoopee with Eric, and so it'll probably be a very personal diss, which should be interesting, especially since Sloane basically holds Eric's fate in her hands, and... Um, because she can refuse to press charges on on the lie about him being a paralegal and being there to get that document signed. So Nicole and Eric just had that sweet moment on Ari Zucker's 25th anniversary episode. So a reconciliation definitely seems like it could be, you know, in the pipeline. But if Sloan's got him by the family jewels, maybe that won't happen. So we'll see. Also on Wednesday, now that Belle is not busy handling Eric's criminal case, Paulina Price hires her because she needs help defending herself from Sloan's wrongful death civil case against her and Chanel. Um, Also on Wednesday, Chanel spends some time getting to know Talia, her new employee, and we'll have to wait and see how long before Jada stumbles upon her and whether she knew her sister was coming to town. It looks like she may not know. On Thursday, March 9th, it's season 58, episode 124 of Days of Our Lives. And Jada puts Rafe Hernandez, her boss, in the hot seat by asking him if he is into her romantically. It definitely seems like that vibe is there. You know, he's still pretty butthurt about the whole Nicole running off to Eric thing. And then now she's in bed with EJ. So you know, he might be interested in her, but he might be really worried about getting burned again because Rafe just has nothing but bad luck with women, as we've seen. Also on Thursday, uh, Chad is in trouble with Stephanie, so it's not clear what he does to aggravate her, but we'll see that. And then there's some drama about business at Titan, and Alex Kiriakis faces off with Maggie Horton. Of course, with Sonny Kiriakis gone off to New Zealand, to follow Will, no doubt Alex thinks he's going to have complete control of the company, slide into the CEO seat, and do whatever he wants. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And what's interesting in all this, of course, is that Victor Kiriakis won't have any more scenes unless they're flashbacks or they banked a few because John Aniston passed away. And Days is real funny about stuff like that. Like even now, they're talking about, oh, is Stefan is Stefano Demera alive somewhere when Joseph Mascalo has been gone for years and years? And so it's a big question of when slash if Days is going to, you know, write the character out and write him a death. Or if they're just going to keep name dropping him. Because, you know, John Aniston worked quite sporadically in his past couple of years where he, he would go months without being on. And, you know, he was always seated as his health failed. So it is going to be interesting, but Alex and Maggie disagree about something that's work-related on Thursday. Also on Thursday, Paulina has news for Chanel that is going to make things tough for her new hire, Talia. What we're wondering is if Paulina doesn't want to finance the bakery anymore because she's got this legal battle, or maybe they need to close that business so Sloan can't take it. I don't know. But it looks like there might be some drama at Sweet Bits since there's the mention in that spoiler about the new hire. Then it's Friday, March 10th, 2023 in Salem. Uh, season 58, episode 125 of DOOL. 
And we're going to have Maggie writing Alex a reality check. Again, it's like he thinks that he's the big boss, the big cheese, now that Sonny's gone and Victor's not at work much. But it looks like Maggie might have her hands on the reins. And I don't think Alex is going to like this, so it should be a whole lot of fun to watch. Rob Wilson is doing such a good job embodying his new character, so that's a lot of fun. We also know that he's going to be doing double duty. In just a few weeks, we'll see scenes where he is back and he is playing, you know, the the doting husband again as part of the the Bow and Hope return case. Then her daughter's back, and that should be all very interesting. On Friday, Xandra Cook has something to tell Gwen that's going to crush her and break her little black heart. Now that Xander signed divorce papers, she thinks, oh, you know, everything's fine. But then two big things happen. First, someone at the courthouse loses the documents, so he is still legally married to Sarah. And then, of course, Sarah finds out that she's pregnant. And, of course, it's Xander's baby. But she did do a a little rebound, wham, bam, thank you, sir, with Rex Brady. And so Sexy Rexy is going to give the idea that he could pretend to be her baby daddy. Of course, Xander played that role before the last time she was pregnant when she wasn't sure if it was Eric Brady or Rex Brady's child she was carrying. And Xander took credit for that pregnancy, and that was the start of their long and winding love story. It seems very doubtful that Xander is going to believe that Rex is the baby daddy. But the bottom line is he tells Gwen something, and it's no doubt that A, he's still married, B, he still wants his wife, and the pregnancy bombshell drops soon. Also on Friday, EJ is ready to make his move against Stefan for revenge. Is he going to publicly humiliate him? Is he going to drug him? And how will Stefan's recent brain frying at the hands of Dr. Rolf make things worse possibly for this revenge plan? I mean, they could utterly crush him if his brain is just completely fried. So that should be kind of fun. Also on Friday, Johnny Demera manages to outmaneuver Trip Dalton. This is likely about Wendy Shen since they both like her. With Chanel, newly single, you know, people are assuming that he is going to go chase her and that will leave Wendy available for Trip, which his brother has been trying to facilitate. Joey Johnson is doing all he can, so he'll probably be thrilled to hear that Trip is her new roommate. But before he gets to you know, declare any feelings or whatnot. It sounds like Johnny is there and making trouble. So there's a lot happening next week, March 6th through 10th, even though February sweeps is over. Things are are still just rolling right along and there's some hot plots to see and definitely you don't want to miss what happens on Peacock. If you're still not sure how to stream at Peacock, uh, go to Soap Dirt. We've got several articles with screenshots that show you step-by-step how to install the app, how to sign up, how to watch for free. If you have cable or satellite, your subscription to that generally covers the cost of a basic subscription to Peacock. So you can keep watching your show for absolutely free. And a lot of times you can even do it directly through your provider and they'll take you to the third party app. So we've got videos to help you if you want to get back into watching it and just aren't sure how to interact with Peacock or what the cost is or how you can do it for free. So that's everything, and we hope you soap fans enjoyed the day's spoilers. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast, because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 